Hey, I'm Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the game, Seaside, which comes in this nice canvas bag. It's a flat bottom. I really like these flat bottom bags where you just put it on the table and it just sits there upright all the time. Seaside is a game that is full of wooden tokens that are double-sided. I'll pull a handful out here and then show you a few of them. Here's what these double-sided tokens look like. Um, I'll keep I'll keep two out here so I can reference them a little bit. Uh, so these, on your turn in Seaside, all you're doing is drawing one of these tokens out of the bag and then deciding which side of the token you want to use, which side of that token, uh, they have different abilities, which, which ability you want to use. And at the end of the game, all you were trying to do is have the highest stack of tokens. So throughout the game, you're going to be gathering these tokens. You'll be stacking them in small stacks, but at the end, you'll stack all of your tokens into one giant stack and you'll compare that stack, should be higher than three, to the other players to see who has the most tokens. Um, this game has a few different things that I really appreciate. Uh, and one of the things is, is the flipping mechanism where you every token, every tile, eh, we'll call them tokens, has two sides. So you can choose which side you want at that moment based on your strategy. Some of those tokens, though, and I think this ties to my favorite mechanism, have uh, a couple different icons on here. Here's a crab, here's a shell. Um, these have a little icon that indicates that they are going uh, this icon right here, it shows that they go in the ocean. I think it's called the ocean of the game. Maybe it's called the sea. They go in the middle of the table. They go in the general supply. And so I can put this crab in the middle of the table. And if I do, I get to take another turn. That's the take another turn icon. Same thing with the shell. So if I play the shell, it goes in the middle of the table. I take another turn. The take another turn is the, the ability portion of it. Um, yeah, you can see, it go, you can tell that it goes in the middle because this is blue opposed to the, the seabird here where um it goes in your own it, it goes on, in your own tableau on the table now the thing i like about this i like that there there are certain tokens that come into play in your tableau that you gain those tokens right away and they might even some of those tokens might even gain more tokens but i really like the idea that you are often growing the ocean itself you're growing the general pool of tiles in this competitive game that you or other players might gain uh, for example, for the the, the crabs, um, if you have crabs in the ocean and someone plays their second or every second uh, rock token, then they gain all the crabs in the ocean. So you might be seeding the, the ocean with crabs in the hopes that you will be the one to grab all those crabs later on. Shells, you gather from um, uh, the, the, the sea token. So if you play the uh, beach, if you play the beach token, then you can gather some of the, the shells that are out there, one shell per beach that you have. And then there are isopods as well, this little icon down here where you gather them if you have a, uh, if you play a, a plover. Uh, but I just really like this idea that when you play tokens, sometimes they're going into your own tableau, but sometimes they are simply growing the ocean, which impacts you and all other players. This is a really nice form of player interaction where you are not directly taking anything away from other players. There is actually one exception to that in this game. There is a way to, when you do crabs, you, you can take a crab from another player. But for the most part, you are forming this interactive pool where multiple players can end up taking things from that pool or multiple players will end up th taking things from that pool over the course of the game. Um, so that plus the, the whole duality here where you have a choice for every token that you grab is my favorite mechanism in this lovely game Seaside, which I've already played. I played it at three players. I played it at uh, two players a couple times. We played it a lot since getting it just last week and really enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts on Seaside. I'd love to hear your favorite mechanism in Seaside if you've played it or, or if you can think of another game where you were almost equally growing the central pool from players to take from as you are growing your own tableau. I'd love to hear other examples of that in the comments below. Thanks.